Why does the price of fuel always have a nine tenths added to the price? If you've ever gone past a petrol station or a gas station, depending on which part of the world you're in, this is going out on both sides of the Atlantic. So I'll use both of those terms interchangeably here. But if you've ever gone past one of these, you'll see the little tower that they have with all the prices on. They'll always end in a 0.9. They will never round to the nearest pence or the nearest cent. They will always have a 0.9 at the end. But why does this happen? Why do all stations do this? Well, there's a few reasons why this is. It's down to marketing and it's also down to tax as well. Here is why. So we covered before about why petrol stations have different prices. There's a lot of different factors, not only down to the brand of gas station that you go to, but also down to the location where it is as well. More remote gas stations have higher prices than those generally in larger cities because there is more competition in larger cities than in rural areas. But when it comes to the price, not many people know why there is actually a percentage point added to it rather than just rounding to the nearest pence or cent. After all, if nothing else, it would save them some space on those giant signs that they have. Well, the reason why actually goes back a long, long way, almost a hundred years ago, in fact, going back to the days of the Great Depression in the 1920s and 30s. See, back then there was a tax that was introduced in the United States, basically to try and get some money back into the central government from people who were selling gasoline. Now, back then, this tax was set at one cent per gallon, which back then was a lot more money than what it is now. But to put it in perspective, the average price of gasoline in the United States at this time was around 20 cents per gallon. Yes, 20 cents per gallon, less than one tenth of what it'll cost you nowadays. So that effectively made it a 5% tax. You would, you would definitely complain about it if the price of gasoline increased by 5% overnight. And in fact, of course, we experienced that here in the UK a few years ago during the pandemic. And obviously this was a time of great economic instability. So that 5% made a big difference to people who were lucky enough to own a motor vehicle during that time. So every cent counted and every tenth of a cent counted as a result as well. So that meant, for example, if you were selling gasoline at 19.9 cents per gallon and your competition was selling it at 20 cents per gallon, people would pursue people would perceive you to have cheaper gasoline. In fact, obviously that is the case, but that tenth of a cent made a big difference in terms of the perception of it as well. Now, if you know marketing, you'll know how this really does work because the same things happen with other things as well. Things in shops, things in supermarkets will cost 99 pence. They will cost 99 cents or 1.99, for example, rather than $1 or $2 or one pound and two pounds because it's perceived to be cheaper than what it actually is. People only read the very first part of the price. Therefore, they are more likely to think that this is a good deal rather than a bad one. And it's the same thing with pet and it's the same thing with petrol and gasoline as well. And at the end of the day as well, it is perfectly legal to market your gasoline or your petrol at this. There is no laws against it. And that kind of thinking very much spread around the world is why you see it in places like the UK, everywhere really, does of course do this when it comes to petrol stations. I've never seen a petrol station not have the nine tenths thing at the end. I'm sure there's some countries that don't, but I personally haven't been to one or noticed one yet. And to use a little example here for you guys, let's just say for example in the UK, you're wanting to sell your petrol for around one pound per litre. It's very much more expensive than that. But the whole one pound thing, that kind of puts you off. So you think, I know, I'll do it at 99 pence instead. However, if you were to do it at 99.9 pence instead of that, you can charge something that is a little bit more expensive. So you're getting the revenue compared to what you would if it was 99, while also having the perception of being less than one pound per litre or still around at 99. People only read the first part, like I said. It's a very subconscious thing that we all do, and a lot of people don't realize it, but it's massive when it comes to marketing and economics. But yeah, if you ever wondered why that nine tenths is at the end of every single petrol or gasoline price, now you know. <laughs> it's, it's kind of simple, to be honest, but it's something that a lot of people aren't aware of. And I know a lot of people will definitely not be aware of when this became a common practice. It's something that's been around for everybody's lives at this point. It's been around for like 100 years or so. And like I said, it's everywhere. As far as I'm aware, it's absolutely everywhere. But I'm sure someone might say in the comments, ah, no, actually, in Mauritius, they don't do that. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen this not be the case. And I hope you learned something today with this video, guys. Have a fantastic day wherever you're on the world today, and hopefully those petrol prices will go down pretty soon for you.